Dandelion roots make a beautiful, beautiful coffee. It's so easy to do and these plants are everywhere. You need to find a plant where you can get all around it because they're hard to dig up and keep the roots intact. You can do all kinds of things with the rest of the plant as well, in fact. Um, but that's for another video. For now, here's our roots. I think I've probably dug up about 10 plants here. They're gnarly, chunky things. I'm gonna wash off the soil. I left them out to dry in a sunny spot for a couple of hours before I diced them up here. onto a baking tray and into the oven for about half an hour on 200 degrees or gas mark six. While they're cooking, they really, really smell like chocolate brownies. They smell absolutely wonderful. I thought I'd overdone these actually because when I opened them, it smelled a bit charred. Um, but it was just the, the odd thin root that, that charred a little bit. These have actually come out beautifully. Previously when I've done this, I've used a hand grinder and it's been a little bit more coarse. This machine was a little bit eager. I perhaps did it a bit too long and uh, came out a bit finer than I was hoping. Hello. Hello dear one. Some chocolate cake. Yeah, I can smell it. Oh, I think what you're smelling is what I'm cooking. What? Uh, dandelion coffee. I smelled brownies. I know, it smells so much like brownies, doesn't it? It really does smell like brownies. There it is, beautiful stuff. Beautiful smell. If I hadn't ground up so fine, I'd probably just use a little tea sieve. But since I did, it's going to have to be a coffee filter. There we go. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful taste. Beautiful cup. I love this cup. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you're able to go and make your own dandelion coffee if you wanna. If you did enjoy this, please like the video and subscribe and find out what we're doing and making next. I'll see you next time.